video. Hello, it's Mr. Carly again. My wife is behind me. That's her with her joker face. My joker face. I call it joker face because her hair is green and she's wearing a purple beret. So, you know, pretty jokery. Yeah. Anyway, today I will be talking about what I call <laughs> the ledge theory. The ledge theory is the idea that our personal growth is like climbing. It's like climbing the side of a very, very steep cliff. I have a lot of friends who are very, very into climbing, and if I weren't quite so broken and a little weak, I'd probably be pretty excited about it. But as I have fallen many, many times, and I have lots and lots of damage, I am concerned about doing anything more than just starting it. Although, if I continue to get fitter over time, then I may actually go and try it. What do you think, wife? Anyway, would you, would that be something you would support? Climbing? Yeah. A lot I'm, of our friends do it. I'm not interested in it. Okay. You go ahead. Hoggles, Sparkles, uh, Lassie, all of them are into it. So. I would rather go canoeing personally. But... <coughs> okay. We can look into that too. Anyway, but the idea of the ledge is something that, um, that I came up with. Because I had a lot of friends who found a ledge and got comfortable there. And they were like, okay, I'm done growing. I'm done trying new things. I'm done, you know, investing in new experiences. I've reached my ledge and I've made my ledge comfortable. And so as a person who is still learning and still growing and honestly still in college, even at my ridiculous age, <coughs> I would go back. What I would do is I would set my hook to where I could easily get back up to where I had been. And I would go back down to their ledge and I would hang out on their ledge with them. And occasionally I would bring them cool stuff that I found further up the cliffs and uh, talk about how neat it was in the, the rock strata, you know, 50 feet that way or, you know, 30 feet that way or whatever. But I would keep having to come back to their ledges and eventually, sometimes they would, they would realize, hey, this ledge isn't quite high enough. I'm going to go a little higher. And then sometimes they would just be like, I'm just going to live on this ledge forever. Because, you know, we all need a break sometimes. So it per makes perfect sense that some people would be on a ledge for a little while. But some people stayed on their ledge. And as I climbed further and further and tried newer and newer things and, you know, tried to grow and tried to learn and tried to be into lots and lots of stuff. And sometimes climbing is sideways and sometimes climbing is up. But when I would climb up, sometimes my friends would get left further and further behind. And some of them who were really good friends, I would spend a lot of time climbing back to their ledge. And some of them, I would just realize that it was too much effort to go back. It was too much effort to climb back to their ledge and it was too much effort to be down that far and some of those people because they were on a low ledge they were exposed to racism or sexism or homophobia or transphobia or some of these other exclusionary unfortunate things <laughs> sometimes they would be taken over by you know incels or uh just the the, the horrible things that come when you're stuck on a low ledge <sighs> and so some of them they were on ledges I couldn't reach anymore. And that makes me profoundly sad. And while some of them may have chosen, oh, wait, I'm in a horrible place. I should move. And they did. Some of them didn't. Some of them were stuck on those low ledges. And some of them stayed on those low ledges. And it was just kind of heartbreaking. And so a lot of what is going on with me now, I can be a little vicious when it comes to internet arguments. And part of that is because I have experienced so much that it is hard for me to experience someone arguing in good faith, which means coming to an argument, being willing to accept that you might be wrong. And the ledges make it to where the further down on the ledges you are, 
the more likely it is that you are not arguing in good faith, but that you're arguing to reinforce your own opinions. And this really should be a separate video. Anyway, the ledges are all about what you're willing to learn. And that doesn't mean that people who are new to learning are low on the ledges. As a matter of fact, it's quite the opposite. Quite often, people will start off, they'll, they'll come through a piece of rock or they'll come out of a cave, and they'll start quite high. And as long as they continue climbing, and he doesn't have to be climbing as fast or as well as others, as long as they're continuing to grow and continuing to learn, continuing to, you know, accept that there are things they don't know so that they're willing to make the effort to grow, then those people are climbing buddies. Those are people that I can hang with. Those are people that I can, you know, be around. And even if I've experienced the thing that they're climbing over, we can still get along because I can be supportive. But having a line to those people who are way, way, way down the cliff, who are way, way, way down and settled and no longer moving and no longer planning to ever move again, no longer planning to grow or climb again, then I just kind of have to accept that they're gone and that I can't be with them anymore. And that's really, really hard. And really, really difficult. But that's part of how it works. And it's I have to come up with these analogies to deal with the complex relationships that I have. Because it's how I relate to things. I don't really... We, we've talked about before that my relationship with things doesn't always... Isn't always normal. And this is one of those things. Whenever I am concerned about a situation that I have internally, I have to process it through analogy. So this is one of the analogies that works best for me to explain why there are some people who I'm still friends with, even though they're not perfect. And while there are some people who seem like they're perfect, who I'm not friends with anymore, it's just that they stopped climbing. And even though a lot of my friends are imperfect, who are still very, very much my friends, they're still trying to climb. And for some reason, that makes their mistakes more forgivable. Does that make sense? Little? Maybe? Cool. Uh, that is this video. I'm thinking about unboxing my new book for a separate one. Just don't show the address. Boop, boop, boop. But I can look it up online anyway. Thank you. Bye. Boop.